Welcome to the video for what is a float. Float data are numbers of decimals and may be either negative or positive. They can hold a value in scientific notation of approximately 3.4 to the power of 38 with 7 digits of decimal precision. If you're looking to store a number that uses a decimal place, like trying to divide 5 and get an accurate result of 2.5, or any other value that has a decimal, then a float is what you're looking for. As you can see from the top green line, both of those values are valid floats, as they contain either a positive or negative number, and they have a decimal point. The bottom line also contains valid floats, as you can store whole numbers in a float. You will just end up with a decimal of point zero, giving you either 10.0 or perhaps negative 56.0 as examples. Floats are commonly used to represent linear color where each RGB value is 0 to 1 and also used in a LERP where the float variable represents the 0 to 100 percent value. Floats use the standard setter and getter nodes and should be fairly common at this point. 